Hi, welcome to a new video. My name is Lee. If you're new here, I'm a full-time artist and this is going to be a paint with me video. And I'm going to take this voiceover as an opportunity to just update you all on what's been going on with me this summer and or this period where I haven't been posting a ton on YouTube. I've had such a good summer and I'm just going to give you a highlight reel of what's been going on with me while this video plays. I wasn't initially going to do a voiceover for this, and then I posted a poll on Instagram and I was like, yo fellas, do you like voiceovers or music over paint with me videos? Voiceovers won by a long shot, like a, a long shot. So we're gonna do a voiceover and I'm just gonna ramble on about my summer. And I hope that is, you know, the perfect little blip of company for you throughout your day. If you are still by your computer, like the video, subscribe to my channel if you're new here and grab a water. I have a little kitty mug full of water next to me that I'm going to drink while I record this almost 12 minute voiceover. Um, thanks for coming to this video, by the way. I'm, I'm happy to be on YouTube whenever I am. I think it's a very fun platform. If you're a patron of mine and you listen to my monthly podcast, you know I'm a summer girl. So that's what I'm gonna get into in this voiceover. I had a wonderful summer and it's not over for me yet, but so far I've had a wonderful summer. I have participated in so many outside activities and I can't get enough of outdoor activities. It doesn't really matter what it is, I'm down. I've done a lot of firsts this summer. It was my first time kayaking in Cincinnati. There's a river that runs through the city called the Little Miami River and then it connects to uh, the Ohio River. But we, my friend Jess and I kayaked on the river which was my first time kayaking in the city. So fun. We only did that once near the beginning of the summer. I can't believe we haven't done it again. We're gonna try and do it before the end of the summer, but it was so fun. I also have been taking Toady down to the river, the same river, the Little Miami River, and we just sit on the shore and we play fetch on the rocky edges and into the shallow water. And Toady's become a sort of a water dog. He can't swim. He, if you don't know who Toadie is, he's my dog. He's like a French Bulldog knockoff sports version. So he's just like a little bigger than a French Bulldog, but still can't really swim. He's very dense. Like he is heavy. So he can kind of like swim from point A to point B, but he doesn't look, you know, like a natural born swimmer like some dogs do, but he can kind of do it. He's become some sort of water dog where he is willing to walk into the water and I think finds it enjoyable at this point, which has been a really cool development this summer. Very cool development. And the kayaking and spending more time at the river have been really fun because I never took advantage of the river, like I said, and it feels like such a new experience in a place where I've lived for a long time and that just feels really cool to me. Two other highlights that are new experiences are I went blueberry picking and flower picking. So my friend Jess found this blueberry farm in Indiana, which is a state over from Ohio where I live. And Jess, James, and I went blueberry picking on like a Saturday or Sunday morning. I can't remember when, I think Saturday morning, doesn't really matter. So fun. It was, it was very hot that day, but okay, one, I love blueberries. They're probably my top five favorite foods. Two, I love being outside. Three, I love a morning activity. So that was amazing. And then a couple weekends later, the, my same friend Jess found a pick your own flower farm. And we brought my friend Allie and we all filled these little buckets full of flowers, another morning activity. And that was so amazing. After spending some time around on farms this summer, I really have this, I have this goal in my head where I want to have a flower farm and I want to build a studio in the middle of it and that be my setup. And I think it would be so, so cool. And I've been thinking about it all summer, truly. And I'm going to make it happen one day. Okay? You can hold me to that. And if it doesn't happen, it's going to be something close and or better. Okay? Hold me to it. I also started a little garden in my front yard. My front yard is very small, okay? But I did manage to plant things as much as I could in the areas that get sun. Um, I planted sunflowers, which were so fun. The pollinators that came around were so am amazing to watch. 
I feel like amazing is such an extreme word to use, but truly, I loved watching the pollinators come. I p planted zinnias and dahlias and cosmos, and I had little tomato plants in pots, some basil, marigolds. What else did I have? I had just like a bunch of random plants, and I had the time of my life taking care of them, and I'm really looking forward to doing my garden next year because I feel like I have a good amount of experience for how many things I tried this year. I'm also, I pulled some compost from my backyard. I have a compost bin in my backyard. When I was planting my garden, I pulled not completely composted compost from my bin to my front yard to fertilize my places where I wanted to plant stuff. And I accidentally grew like three tomato plants and like three pumpkin plants. Since the whole summer's been over, it's the beginning of fall, kind of now we're getting to fall season, not yet fall, but I have a few pumpkins. I have like four pumpkins <laughs> that I grew. Very fun. And the foliage for the pumpkins is just so lush and big and cool. Um, that was a very exciting oopsie garden thing. And also, kind of the most exciting like the sunflowers were a, were a highlight for me but the the pumpkins have really stole the show i think because they were such a surprise you know and now i suddenly have a bunch of pumpkins which is fun i have also gone on so many walks i think my main hobby is probably walks um the past two weeks my friend jess and i have been trying to walk twenty thousand steps I've never really, you know, had super firm goals for steps. I try to get the like made up 10,000 steps wherever that came from. I think some study in Japan like years ago, 10,000 was like the number that they recommended for you. And like I would hit around that usually um, most days because I walk to work and walk around my neighborhood and walk my dog. But Jess and I decided we wanted to hit 20,000 steps recently. And it's been really fun. We've been waking up early in the morning, going on walks. I walk throughout my day, and then sometimes we'll end the day with another walk to hit the 20,000. Really fun goal. Walking is so fun to me, and it feels so good for my body. And since we've started that, we've decided that we need to try and walk a half marathon, a self-initiated half marathon, which I think we'll do once the weather cools down a little bit more. We can start early in the morning and walk to like... Sometime in the afternoon, I think it would take like six hours or something. I don't know for sure. I've never done a half marathon walking or running, but that's going to be our, our thing, which I'm really looking forward to. <laughs> and I find it so funny. A self-initiated walking half marathon is just something I never thought I would get into in my life, but here we are. This is it. We're running, we're running a little bit at a time. We're not really, but... For the amount of notes I have, we are. So I'm gonna skip over my travel notes and I'm gonna skip over my crochet notes and I'm gonna jump right to my next biggest highlight. I got a betta fish. I used to call them betta fish, but I've done so much research now that I know they're called betta fish. Me and my friend Allie have been wanting betta fish. We've had them in the past, we really like them. We got two females. They're the ones without the huge fan tails. Like they're they're kind of normalish, nor normalish looking fish, fin wise. I've had her for about two weeks. I asked in my podcast this past month what I should name her because for some reason, I struggled so much naming her. She's like this blue purpley color. When I first got her, she was this dull tan little bit of blue and purple and now she's this bright blue purple now that she's gotten acclimated and comfortable in her new tank someone suggested the name jelly for her and i had already named my snail that i got chips and i was like you know what Jelly's perfect so my fish's name is jelly and i have a snail in the tank with her named chips and i've had such a positive experience doing extensive online research about how to take care of a betta fish properly and i've learned so much and i've i feel like i have so much more to learn the care for them is so in depth and also caring for a snail um, i'm having a lot of fun just deep diving into that and getting into like 
what aquatic plants are like, how to set up a tank right, how to clean your tank, how to care for your fish, how to, you know, what kind of stimulation they need. And that has been so pleasant. Um, and it's been really fun to watch my fish and Allie's fish develop their own personalities. She, my fish is super active, very curious, and she's always getting into something. And Allie's fish is very calm and she's not as feisty as my fish. And it's really cool to see their personalities because they're such small little beings and just watching my fish swim around, so much joy. I have to close out this video and stop talking about my fish. If you enjoyed this voiceover and this video, I post exclusive podcasts which sound pretty much just like this voiceover every month. I have almost a year's worth of podcasts on my Patreon page if you want to get into that. The perfect, very casual, company-keeping content if you're interested. I also post exclusive videos there every month. If you've been missing my videos, I'm always posting one on Patreon. Um, and I want to give a shout out to my patrons who already support me. And thank you so much for watching this video. I hope you all have had a great summer. Leave your summer highlights in the comments because I'm nosy and curious. And I'll see you in the next one. Bye.